In today's video, we're going to talk about Medicare Supplement Plan G. So yeah, let's get right into it. I know Medicare can be quite confusing, but by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what is Medicare Supplement Plan G, the cost and how it helps with original Medicare. So before we can even get started on Medicare Supplement Plan G, also known as Medigap plans. Do not confuse these with Medicare Advantage plans because they're not the same. But before we get started, we need to understand what is original Medicare so that way you can understand why you even need a Medicare supplement in the first place. So let's get started. So original Medicare is for individuals that's turning 65 or have a disability that work in the US and have enough working credits, right? So we turn 65, if you have enough credits, which is 40 credits, which is 10 years of working and paying Medicare taxes, then you're eligible for a Medicare. You can also get Medicare, like I said, if you have a qualifying disability through SSDI. After SSDI, you would get Medicare after 24 months okay so we have original medicare we have two parts we have medicare part a which is your hospital coverage remember the letter h okay hospital coverage for part a because it also covers skilled nursing home h skilled nursing home you get it <laughs> also covers hospice home health as well okay now you have your medicare part b which is your medical coverage so things outside of the hospital so it covers labs tests treatment doctor visits mental health diagnostic procedures it covers durable medical equipment and such that's your medicare part b right so you have your part a you have your part b medicare covers 80 percent 80 percent leaving you behind 20 percent and 20% is a lot, okay? It may not sound like a lot, but it's actually a lot to think about it. 20% of whatever, there's no cap, there's no ceiling, there's no max out of pocket or anything like that. So whatever your bill is, you have to pay 20%. You don't want to go in debt due to medical bills. So you can get on a Medicare Advantage plan or a Medicare Supplement plan in today's video, we're going to talk about Medicare Supplement, and this is going to help you with that 20%. So what the Medicare Supplement plan does is actually follows what Medicare pays. So Medicare would pay the 80%, and the Supplement plan company will pay the 20%. So let's talk about the premiums really quick because there are monthly premiums associated with Medicare. So your Medicare Part A is zero because you paid into Medicare taxes. Medicare Part B is usually under $200 a month. Depending on how much you made in the past two years, it goes based on an IRMA chart. Most individuals would pay about $200 or less per year for Part B, and you have your Medicare Supplement Plan G premium as well. Depending on where you are in the USA, it could be anywhere from 90 to $300 or more for a supplement plan. So is a supplement plan worth it? Let's talk about the pros and cons, okay? So let's talk about the pros. So as long as Medicare covers a treatment, the Medicare supplement plan will follow and pay the 20%, which is a great thing, okay? So that's one pro. Another pro is you could go to any doctor that takes original Medicare. If they take original Medicare, they're taking new patients then they will take your supplement as well. Another pro is you could travel with this plan within the US. So you could be in New York for six months, you could be in Florida in six months, it's okay. You could travel with this benefit, there's no doctor networks. Like I said, you could go to any doctor that takes original Medicare, so you don't have to worry about a PPO plan or HMO plan. There's no doctor networks. As long as the doctor takes original Medicare, they would take your supplement. Another pro, no pre-authorization. That is correct. With traditional health insurance, you usually have to ask for pre-authorization, meaning you have to ask for permission for a certain test sometimes or a treatment or a procedure or surgery or what have you. But when it comes to a Medicare supplement plan, there's no pre-authorization. You don't have to worry about 
a service being denied or a surgery being denied, as long as Medicare covers that service, then the supplement will follow, which is really nice. So let's talk about when is the best time to actually enroll in a Medicare supplement plan. So the best time is when you're first eligible to enroll in Medicare, okay? So when you get on Medicare Part B, the best time is to go ahead and enroll in a supplement if the supplement is what you want. Why is that? Because no underwriting, no health questions when you first eligible for Medicare. They will not ask you anything about your health whatsoever. However, if you wait after that six months period, then you have to go through underwriting and there are certain questions that ask if you say yes, then you will get denied for a Medicare supplement. So it's very important to make sure that you understand the underwriting rules, okay? Like I said, the insurance carrier will ask you a series of health questions, and if you say yes to this, then they will not approve your application, such as Parkinson's, such as dementia, such as diabetes with complications, rheumatoid arthritis, things like that, questions like that. So if you have a chronic health condition, then I will advise that you get on a Medicare supplement plan when you're first eligible to do so, so you don't have to worry about underwriting. Once you have the Medicare supplement plan, as long as you're paying your monthly premium, the supplement plan company cannot kick you off the plan due to any type of health issues. As long as you're making your monthly premium, you're good to go. Let's talk about what insurance companies should you enroll in because when it comes to a Medicare supplement plan, all of the plans are standardized, meaning they all have to offer the same thing, right? So it's very important to pick a insurance carrier that is very steady and stable in the market that will not start you off at a very low rate and then increase the rates at a point where you cannot afford it as you age. So it's very important to talk to a broker that you trust that understands the market in the area so that way you don't get yourself in that situation. So let's break down what the Medicare supplement plan actually covers and what it don't cover. So first, let's talk about your deductible. So Medicare sets out an annual deductible each year and Plan G does not cover your annual deductible. So say the deductible is $300 for the year, so you have to pay that $300 before your supplement will actually kick in. For an example, so you go to the doctor in January and your doctor visit is $150, you have paid the $150 till you reach that deductible of $300, and then after that, the supplement will kick in and pay the 20% of your Bills. So let's talk about what the supplement covers. Like I said, the supplement will pay the 20% that Medicare leaves behind. There is no co-pays. That is right, no co-pays. All you have to do is pay your monthly premium, okay? So let's talk about what a Medicare supplement actually covers. So I have a chart here and I'm going to go over the chart, okay? So your Part A coinsurance and hospital coverage it covers that at 100%. Your Part B coinsurance and copayment also covers that at 100%. It covers blood, your first three pints of blood. Okay, so if you need the blood, it covers that at 100%. Your Part A hospice care coinsurance and copayment also covered at 100%. Your skilled nursing facility coinsurance is also covered. Your Medicare Part A deductible is covered. Your Medicare Part B is not covered like we mentioned before. You do have to pay your Part B deductible. It also covers your Medicare Part B excess charges. Please take a moment to like this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you are enjoying the content. It really helps others to find this video and it helps the channel a lot. Thank you so much. I'm moving along. Let's talk about excess charges really quick. So excess charges is where a doctor can actually charge up to 15% more than what Medicare sets out, right? 
So a doctor may say, you know what, I charge $20 more than what Medicare sets out. Well, the Medicare supplement plan will cover the excess charges, so you have to worry about excess charges. I would say that a lot of doctors don't charge excess charges, but I would like to say that it's nice to have that peace of mind that you don't have to worry about excess charges with a Medicare supplement plan G. So this is what your supplement plan G covers, which follows original Medicare. So now let's talk about what it does not cover. So like I said, the Medicare supplement plan follows what original Medicare covers. If original Medicare does not cover a service, then this would not be included, such as dental, vision, hearing benefits, this is not included in a Medicare Supplement Plan G plan because Original Medicare does not cover these services, okay? Also, let's talk about prescription drug coverage. Very important to take note. You also need a standalone prescription drug plan, which is Medicare Part D. So yes, you also need to go ahead and apply for a standalone drug plan. This is going to help cover your prescriptions that you take at home. Now, say you don't take any medications, you're healthy, you're taking vitamins, no medications whatsoever, you still need to go ahead and enroll in a drug plan because if you don't, you'll be penalized when you do, in fact, enroll in one. So it's best to go ahead and just get on a very low cost or if you could get a $0 monthly premium drug plan, and don't have to worry about a penalty later on. It would be a lot more expensive if you have to pay a penalty because actually the penalty is a lifetime penalty and you will be billed for this penalty every single month while you're on a drug plan. You don't want that. So I recommend that you just go ahead and get on a low cost drug plan so you don't have to worry about that headache in the future. I'm gonna say this one more time. You also need a prescription drug plan as well to go along with your Medicare supplement and it is not attached to the Medicare supplement. So this would be a standalone drug plan. So we talked about the pros, let's talk about the con, okay? So the only con is that if you cannot afford a Medicare supplement plan, then you can't afford it. That's really the con. Some individuals just simply cannot afford a Medicare supplement plan especially if you're on a fixed budget. So I could completely understand if you decide not to go on a Medicare supplement plan because you simply cannot afford it, then I will recommend that you look into a Medicare Advantage plan, also known as Medicare Part C. So yeah, that is really the only con. However, a Medicare supplement plan is a great option, especially if you look at your health history, you look at your family health, and you decided, you know what, I do have a chronic condition. This would be the best thing for me because no pre-authorization. You don't have to worry about networks, doctor networks. As long as your doctor takes original Medicare, they would take the supplement, which is really nice for individuals that do have health issues. And of course, we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know what our health will look like in the long run. So you really want to consider a Medicare supplement plan if you can afford it. Because like I said, you don't have to worry about doctor networks, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about getting a referral to see a specialist or anything like that. As long as your doctor takes original Medicare and they're taking new patients, then you can see that doctor, So which is really nice. So let me know in the comments, would you get on a Medicare supplement plan? What do you think about Medicare supplement plans? Yeah. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new today. If you like the video, please give it a like. And if you know anyone that needs this information, please share this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'd be more than happy to answer your question. If you need any assistance, give our office a call. We'd be more than happy to assist you. At the end of today's video, there are two videos that you can also watch. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to see me again and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!